This video is going to explain the RevSum report. The RevSum is a revenue summary report of all the amounts of the revenue accounts that you have access to. So in our example here, the Drama Club Advisor has access to a specific cash account to the Drama Club Fund. So her RevSum is going to provide all the revenue account information within that cash account. So when I click on the RevSum link, it's going to display her RevSum report in PDF format. So the first thing I'm going to see is how is this sorted? It's sorted by Fund Special Cost Center and then Account. She only has access to one cash account, so basically it's going to display all the revenue accounts underneath that cash account. So when I look at the first one, here is my first revenue account underneath that cash account and the description, Interest for Drama Fund. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move down to the second line because it has a little more information in here for us. Her second revenue account that she has access to is Admissions for Dramatics. So here's the revenue account. And within there then, the first amount we're going to see is the $6,000. This is the fiscal year to date receivable amount. Now the fiscal year to date receivable includes the initial estimated revenue for this account, what they plan on receiving for this account, plus or minus any adjustments that have been made to this figure so far. So like I said, it's the total amount of what is anticipated to be receded into this account. What actually has been receded into this account will be underneath the fiscal year to date actual receipts. What has been receded so far this current month will be listed under the month to date actual receipts. And what's been receded in for the calendar year so far, so this is from January to December, is listed under the year to date actual receipts. So your fiscal year to date Balance receivable is a calculated field and it comes from taking your fiscal year to date receivable, the $6,000, minus what actually has been receded in, $69.77, to give you what is still planning to be anticipated to be received this year. And I know this looks a little confusing because it's a negative figure. But basically, we have gone over what we had planned on receiving. So we thought we were going to receive $6,000 when actually we have receded in $69.77. So we went over $977. So our fiscal year to date percent received displays the percentage received for this fiscal year so far. So because we went over what we anticipated receiving for the year, our percentage is going to be well over 100%. 116.28 uh, is what the percentage is. So from then on, it goes down and lists all the revenue accounts that fall underneath this cash account. And from here then, it will give us grand totals. So we had planned on receiving about $9,450. And so far, for all the revenue counts, we have actually receded in $8,274.09 for the year, $827.30 for the month, and $4,693.30 for the year. The fiscal year to date balance receivable is $1,175.91. And again, this comes from what I plan on getting this year, the 9450, minus what I actually have receded in. So 9450 minus 827409 equals $1,175.91. If you would like to see the transactions, the receipt transactions that make up the amounts on the rev sum, you would need to refer to a rev led.